Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me today. So we're at uh, Dovey Forest near Dovey Bike Park and we're at the Climax Trail. It's great, this is a red 15k, one to two hours, 450 meter climb. So it shouldn't be too long really out on the trail. The weather's been super kind. Glorious sunny day here in Dovey. And uh, yeah, we're gonna take you up the Climax Trail that starts up there. So we get keyed up and we'll take you around. Let's go. And there's no trail centre here. So make sure you bring plenty of food and water with you. Have a toilet break before you get here and then uh, you'll be good to go. So we did a, a dog left. And then we've gone up a bit more. Then we've done a dog right. And now we're going up here. Not sure much further. But you can always sort of gauge the tree line to how high you've got to go. And I don't think I've got much more to do. But a little side note, I'm gonna drop in a Star Wars quote or two. And if you're a Star Wars fan, pick out the minute, even to the second if you can, of when I drop one. And if you're not a Star Wars fan, it'd just basically be me jibber jabbering on about something or other. But anyway, hit me up in the comments if you wanna take part. Alrighty, so I've got a first way marker for you. I've just come up that hill there. It's up the fire road. And then it does peel off to the left there. However, just over here is a red arrow and a climax sign. And it's 03 on the marker. It's telling me to go that way. Stay on board to find out if I'm right. So the right hand uh, that I was on about was the right way, thank God. And uh, we've now made it up to Sidewinder which was a little bit further around from that corner. So we're gonna head on up to Sidewinder. This was the first part of the trail on the map, trail map. So should be hitting something now. So a river crossing. <laughs> little stream, lovely. That's nice. Even this trail doesn't get rid of much, or it's well maintained. It does say it has a local volunteer group looking after it. But this is only the first bit. It looks like it's all been redone recently. Nice. Here we go back on the road. Windy Alley. I wonder why it's called Windy Alley. It's well hidden in the trees. I wonder. That's a flowy. Oh, nice. And we're heading up again. I've got a comment that so far, it's definitely been resurfaced i think very recently so fair play to the trail crew that done it although part of me feels this is leading me into a full sense of security because i'm feeling quite good so far only two trails in both really nice and chilly just smooth flowy i wonder if they've left the gnarly bit at the end that everyone goes on about and I sort of remember as well I wonder if they've just left that raw <laughs> we're gonna find out aren't we I just have to just stay on target okay so I've made my way round now to easy rider however just over there zoom in there's tire tracks coming out of that path there so I wonder if that's a secret squirrel run or we're gonna link back round to this point be interested if we do because it looks quite good anyway we're gonna go up to easy rider let's have a look oh here we go here we go 
bit of steep. Nice. It's a tiny little techie section on that. And that's it. Alrighty, so I've just stopped for a little viewpoint because we're gonna head down to Va Va Voom, which sounds pretty cool. And you can see part of it. <laughs> I've got a feeling this is gonna go on for a while. So I've had a little breather. I've eaten an orange, taking some epic photos. Insert photos now. <laughs> there we go. And uh, I can't believe this view from this point. And I've got a feeling I have got to go up higher as well. Because I had a quick squint of the photo that I took of the map. And I've got a branch round. And I've got a feeling I'm going to come back over to here. Because over there that's got a climax sign as well. And it's pointing me up that path up there so <laughs> I'm going to go all the way around and then come back and then go up again we'll find out right let's drop into va va vum ah Nico That was cool. The natural route give you a little pop. That was cool. Oh, some sheep. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> That's cool. Although, oh, nice. Although, <laughs> Alrighty, so you get a bit of a flow down there and I thought I'd quickly stop because I could see what was going about to happen. You're going to keep your flow and then it looks like we're going to peel off to our left here and this is going to lead us into the artist. Okay, so we're still on the main trail centre loop, the main trail loop shall I say. And yeah, let's see where this takes us. The artist. I wonder why it's called the artist. Someone drunk when they made this one? Or is it very artistic? Has he got beautiful views or something like that? Who knows? <laughs> I've got a feeling that was it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was the fire road. Right, we are out better late than never. Let's see where this takes us. Very nice, very picturesque. Still climbing up. Nice and flowy. We've all got the same sort of feel. It's one of them trail centers, it feels like others, i.e. the Wales ones, they all have a similar feel and layout. Climbing, there's some nice flowy bits, some tech. Oh, nice! Big braking ruts there. And there's a high line now. Although, not worth much in here, I don't think, to be fair. Stick to the main line. Probably would have ruined the corner actually. It's just like the forest moon of Endor. See what I've done there? <laughs> nice. Nice. Back out to the fire road. There's another one ticks off. Just come down that fire road. And he was asking me to peel up and go right. So that was that bit I thought would be uh, linked in later from Vavavum, which is just there. And just to have a bit of a recap, I think I wouldn't want to cut the corner and not go and do Vavavum and the other trails that are in there. Because um, they were good, to be fair. They're nice and flowy. And if you're going to come to a trail centre, the way I think, it's no point cutting corners. You might as well 
take your time and make your way round. They're all really good flowy, good fun trails, so I've been enjoying them so far. We're gonna head on up now, and we're, we're well over halfway now on the Climax Trail. So I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna eat another orange, and then it looks like I've got a bit of a techie climb up the hill. Should be fine. And then we're gonna make our way round to finally finishing on Tony the Tiger, which I've heard is epic. And I can't really remember much, but I do think it was quite gnarly. <laughs> but then the last time I here was years ago, and trail centers change and everything, so who knows? But we go find out. Let's head on up. Where's my ball? So, see what we got. Again, another strange name. <laughs> Where's my ball? It might be going downhill now. Maybe. There's a lot of climbing. Inside line. was a lot of climbing straight into Tony the Tiger this is the final trail on the map so let's uh, see what it's got Tony the Tiger hope it's great Okay, Christmas tree, Christmas tree markers up a little bit. Time to regroup. Alrighty, sit down. Tightens up. It's like Beggar's Canyon back home. Techie bit. <sighs> See how we can get on this bit. Mm. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go right. It's all been. This is the slab off. It looks like there's a turn in there. Or up and round. I'm a bit at lost. Whether it's a it's definitely tire tracks going that way. Right, there's an off-piece sign there. There's a track there. There's a track there. There's a track there. Oh man, that's taxing. All right, so we'll go up here a minute. Oh wow, well, there's another one there. Steep DH. Yeah, that looks good. Trouble is, I don't know where it all leads to building officially from. April, so that's really cool. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and carry on Tony the Tiger, but it's worth noting about all this stuff over here, definitely. So the off piece stuff is just down there, and you've got a like techie climb bit through loads of slippery wet rocks and stuff. I know Tom Pidcock, so I've meandered my way up here, I've got to here. And it looks like it chills out a bit more, which I can see why the locals have put in them tracks on them 
of piece bits because I just don't want to do all this which unless you're an XC Whippet and, uh, and enjoy technical climbing that's not the one to be fair but anyway you got to cater for everyone and what ain't right for one is, is right for another so some of you might come over here and really enjoy that bit see it is a good challenge but I'm not I'm not that guy oh shouldn't have braked <laughs> definitely not <laughs> oh well we made it alrighty so that off piece stuff might be the choice if you fancy it and this is this is still toning the tiger which is gnarly to be fair to it if you want to do all that knock yourself out all right here we go again a bit more trial orientated now Whoa, that was wild. <laughs> oh, that nearly caught me out. Okay, got to chill a bit. Oh, Woo. definitely techers. I'll give it that. Fair play. That's why the rest of the trails are chill. It's to lead you into a full sense of security. Thinking you've got this. There's a left hander. God bless Kushko. <laughs> oh, I tell you what, gnarly. There's the arrow. meant I said there was a big drop coming up but I'll tell you what so far that is techie that is definitely a black trail definitely thinking over you want to have a good old rest before you drop in and do that you need to be fully focused I made a couple of mistakes up there it could have gone wrong big time There is a big arrow, okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> I wonder if it's because it don't want you to drop off the edge. <laughs> okay. I'll tell you what though, it's definitely gnarly. You can see why Dan Afferton, Rachel Afferton, and G Afferton, they ride here. And why they beat, built Dovey Bike Park. So there's some serious steepness hidden in these hills. We're going to go to Dovey Bike Park tomorrow for a two-day excursion. Check out the videos for that. 
see my guide when I went the first time. And let's see how I get on for two day. Oh. This is a good warm up point though. <laughs> Yeah, that is gnarly. There's no denying that. Fair play. Well, there we go. That's a wrap from Dovey and the Climax Trail. In a nutshell, good flowy fun. The ups are nice and chill. You've got the, the techie climb on uh, Where's My Ball, but other than that, the, the climb's all all fire road and it's all really well surfaced here, so nice and easy, no, no stress really. The trails are nice and flowy. I enjoyed Vava Voom, that was a nice long flowy trail. And with Vava Voom, when you get to the end and you're in the woods, there is a little off piece trail called 60 Watt, which I didn't do because basically I wouldn't know where it would bring me out and I'd get lost probably, so I didn't want to do that today. However, it does link you back round if you stay on the main trail back to here. So you could drop in and do va va voom again and do the off-piece one if you fancy doing some adventuring. Because all in all, the trail doesn't take too long to do. With a good level of fitness, you can get round in a couple of hours, no problem. Um, and what you could do is you've got here super early. You could do a lap, you could chill for a little bit. There is no visit centre, so bring plenty of food and water. And... Um, yeah there's a bench <laughs> but yeah free parking so you can't complain about that yeah and then you could head round and you could do it all again and you had the off piece one of of 60 watt there but then when you make your way from where's my ball to tony the tiger that's uh definitely a black trail as you've seen um i was really impressed with that to be fair there's a bit in there where you start going uphill and it's like super like techie loose rocks and there was no way i was doing it today to be fair it was it's just uh yeah i weren't making it up i lost momentum so <laughs> it is what it is however there's loads of off-piece stuff that's been built in there which i can see why the locals have done that because basically they don't fancy riding that so it'd be interesting to know where them off-piece runs link into but i enjoyed tony tiger to be fair and once i got over that techie bit once it started getting into the steeps again and brings you out and finishes it here um there's some treacherous bits up there yeah that is definitely a techie black I, I won't deny there were some moments up there that I come close and um, I reckon the best thing to be honest would be to have a good old rest just before you drop in just so you're fully alert and aware of, of, your, of what you're going to drop into and uh, yeah just don't be tired on the bike because it's quite a long trail and it was good fun so I make the most of it well as always I hope you enjoyed the video I'm um, heading to Dovey Bike Park for two days tomorrow so that should be good fun and this was just a, a warm up to, on my way up here which i'm glad i did to be fair because it was good fun if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up and please subscribe i always appreciate it got plenty more adventures coming and until next time stay awesome out there see you on the hill peace